Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm doing my son Demi's four month update. For some reason, four months seems like a really big milestone to me. He it just seems to be getting so old. So let's get right into this update. Demi has a tooth. He actually almost has two teeth. He got his first tooth when he was about three and a half months, which is insanely early. And then now he, I'm filming this a little bit late, so he is a little over four months and he is just getting his second one. But that is just ridiculously early. I remember when Sophia was around three months and I thought for sure she was teething because she was so grumpy and drooly, but then she didn't get a tooth until she was like nine months old. But he got a tooth at three and a half months. I just cannot believe it. That's just crazy. And he bites. And I don't know how to teach him not to, but by the time Sophia had teeth, she was done breastfeeding because my mouth dried up when I got pregnant with him. So I actually haven't ever experienced this before. <laughs> the biting though is not super fun, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I actually need to get him a teething necklace soon because he seems to be in quite a bit of pain from his teeth. He's still such a chill guy though, he does hardly complain at all, but I can tell from just his facial expressions that his teeth hurting him sometimes so I'm gonna order one of those Baltic amber toothy necklaces that Sophia has and that has worked really well for her. I've been very impressed with how those toothy necklaces work so we need to get one for him very soon. <laughs> so I'm just editing this video and I realized I forgot to tell you how much he weighs. He is almost 16 pounds now. Such a big boy. It makes me so happy that he's gaining weight so fast and that he's able to do that on my breast milk. So anyway sorry I forgot that and back to the video. We've been able to get him to laugh twice one was about a month ago and then it took a whole nother month to find something that was very funny to him and he just laughed at it the other day and it was so cute and we just kept doing it over and over again until he got tired of it <laughs> and now he won't do it anymore so it's probably going to take another month to find out the next funny thing. But his laugh is so cute. I just, I'm always looking for funny things because I just want him to laugh all the time. It's just the funnest thing. He still smiles really easily. He's just so sweet and he loves his mama and daddy. All we really have to do is look at him and smile and especially if we say something like baby or buddy or dimmy, he just smiles so big and he's so excited that we're looking at him and talking to him. He absolutely loves eye contact and if you let him talk to you and then if you talk back, that's just his favorite thing in the world besides nursing of course. <laughs> he has all these big conversations with us, he just gets super into it and he's very passionate about what he talks about. <laughs> he just almost blow the gasket being so excited about what he's talking about. And lately he's been doing this new thing when he gets really excited where he flaps all four of his limbs at once, but all synchronized. Like, so his arms will go up and down like he's flapping wings and his legs will go up and down and they're all perfectly straight, just flapping. I like to carry him on my hip facing out with my arm around his stomach and he'll see something that gets him really excited and he'll just start waving his arms and legs around in the air violently. Like, <laughs> the first couple times I was afraid I would almost drop him because it was so sudden and unexpected and he's very strong. <laughs> but I love how excited he gets about things and his eyes just get so wide, it's hilarious. He's been doing this super cute little drooly thing where he kind of like blows bubbles, he gets a bunch of spit in his mouth and then he's just like, like, he'll just sit there and blow bubbles forever and he does it really loudly and it's so cute <laughs> and he, he ends up making a huge slobber mess all over his face because it like splashes up on his forehead and like everywhere but I think it's the cutest thing ever that he's like learning how to do different things with his mouth and different sounds he can make and it's just adorable <laughs> even though it makes a big mess. He is kind of going through his four month regression so he, he has still been sleeping a lot better than my daughter did at Sage. And he's, he doesn't need to come into bed with us anymore to nurse. He can still make it through the whole night. I just have to replace his pinky more often, which is perfectly fine with me. Like, that's really not bad. But last night he did come into our bed because I just didn't feel like worrying about putting the pinky in, so I just nursed him and we snuggled until it was time to get up. But it was almost morning anyway. But whenever he starts stirring during the night, I just have to replace his pacifier and then he's good to go for a while longer, which I feel like is amazing for his age, even though this is sleep regression. It's still crazy to me how good he's doing. It does take him a long time to fall asleep at night. I always aim to get him in bed around 8, but usually he doesn't actually fall asleep at night until 10. So it's been kind of a challenge because I let myself go to bed until I clean the kitchen. I've been trying to do my kitchen cleaning before I even start getting him ready. 
ready because once I start getting him ready, it's like a big long process. So I'm hoping that that's mainly because of the sleep regression and the teething. But if you guys have any tips for how to get your babies to sleep faster, I would love to hear them because it's a little frustrating, but I know it'll probably pass and he'll kind of get the hang of it again, but it kind of makes the whole evening crazy. <laughs> His main issue with the regression is during the day. He's been very, very grumpy for the most part and not taking very good naps. He still takes most of his naps in the wrap. That's when he sleeps the best. And as you can see, he's so cute. Normally, before the regression, I could set him down for a pretty long stretch while I took care of Sophia or did some housework or something that was a little hard to, harder to do with him in the wrap. And he would just be good to go for a nice long stretch. And now, as soon as I put him down, he starts whining. He basically wants to be either in the wrap sleeping or attached to my breast all day long <laughs> and that's just not feasible when you have a toddler and you're running a business and managing a house. So he's just had to learn to get over it some of these times because I just can't hold him all the time. But it's been good for him even though it's really, really hard for me to let him complain for a little while while I just finish my task and then go get him. And I actually think he's going through a growth spurt as well. I don't know if it's connected to the four month regression, but he, as I said, wants to nurse all the time. But it's just been a little more difficult to get stuff done with the toddler and the baby going through a little bit of a regression, but we're figuring it out. And I know that all these things are just phases and that pretty soon we'll be back to normal and then something else will change. Things with babies always seem to happen in short little phases and that come and go and so I just try not to worry about it at all. So the first nap of the day he does take by himself. I will nurse him and then swaddle him up and then I just bounce on our exercise ball to get him to fall asleep and I'll put him in the bassinet. He actually naps in the bathroom because that's one safe space downstairs that Sophia can't get to him. So I'll close the door and I just turn on the fan that's in there for a little white noise and that's just worked really well. But he takes his first nap by himself so I can do my yoga for the day. And then after that, he just sleeps on me for all of his other naps, which vary from like two to four naps, approximately. I don't really keep track and I don't really have him on any sort of a schedule. I just kind of try to notice if he's looking tired or hungry and we just totally roll with it. I do not keep track at all. I'm just guessing he takes somewhere around two to four minutes. But I hope you guys enjoyed his four month update. If you're interested in seeing other motherhood content or pregnancy, birth, all these things I'm passionate about, head over to my channel and subscribe and I'm excited to have you here. I also have a blog where I post a lot of recipes and tips and then I also have a podcast. So I will link all the things down in the description box below. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.